message on my YouTube channel from a lady who said, how do you make just one biscuit? I live alone and all I want for breakfast is one biscuit. I don't want to make a whole pan full and have a bunch left over. And I'd like to know how to make it using a uh, baking mix or something like that. So I'm going to do that. Uh, and I agree with her that making a whole pan of biscuits for one is kind of like when I was in the Army. Uh, I, this other guy and I walked into this sandwich shop and he was kind of a smart ass show off anyway. And he ordered, he said, I'd like a Hoyo sandwich. Well, the waitress took the order just without batting an eye. And when she brought it out, it was a ham and cheese sandwich. And he said, look, I ordered a Hoyo sandwich and you brought me a ham and cheese. And she said, well, the cook said that he wouldn't cut up a whole Hoyo for one sandwich, so you get ham and cheese. And that's the way it is with biscuit. But I'm going to make one biscuit today. Well, I'm going to use, for one, one biscuit, I'm going to use a quarter cup of self-rising flour. Now you can use Krusty's baking mix or Krusty's pancake mix. You can use baking mix, uh, Bisquick, waffle mix, whatever you want. But I'm going to use the self-rising flour. If you don't have that, you can use regular flour and add about a half a teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of baking powder to it. And uh, to this, I'm going to add uh, about a pat of butter. This is about a pat of butter at room temperature, so it's, it's soft, but it's not melted. And this is my quarter cup measure here. And I use the same amount of milk as I do mix. So I'm going to, there we go, and dump that in there. And another thing I'm going to put in there to kill the harshness of the baking powder in it is just a little sugar. Not much, maybe a half a teaspoon is all it takes. And just work this together in here. And it's making kind of a soft dough. That works the butter into it and everything at all at the same time. And take the back of the spoon and mash it down to break up any lumps that might be in there. And round it up together. Now I'm going to make this in a cup. And I need some Pam to spray the inside of the cup. Round this up. fingers work where nothing else will. And spread that out on the bottom of the cup. Now this goes in the microwave for a minute and a half. There it is. It's been in there for a minute and a half. See how it's uh, risen there? Now the microwave doesn't brown it like an oven would. 
but we're going to let it rest for about a minute or two. Okay, it's rested, so now we'll turn it upside down. And there's the biscuit. Not the greatest looking biscuit in the world, but it's a biscuit for one person. Now, from that you could uh, cook a nice round egg like I do, or and add some cheese, maybe some sausage to it, or something like that, or I'm going to have it with some jelly. Well, it's rested a couple minutes here. I'll split it. There it goes. Not the greatest split in the world. And I've got some Smucker's Strawberry Jam here. That will work great on it. And there it is with jam on it. Now I'm going to taste that and see how it is. Well, here's my biscuit and jelly. That's a good biscuit and good jelly. And as I said, with a egg and sausage or bacon on there. It make good breakfast. Here it is. So God bless America. God bless Texas. And God bless all you people out there. That's a great year to be alive and looking forward to a lot more of them. Thanks for watching my videos.